Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Make sure you watch the episode before watching this video because we will be giving details of the show. So make sure you watch the episode first. What up, Vibers? Y'all know yeah. what time it is. It's time for another video. And I'm Yak. I'm Ivy. And welcome to another episode of Show Realm. And in today's episode... And on today's video, we're going to be discussing another episode of Inventing Anna. I might have a story. Her name is Anna Delvey, or Anna Sorokin. No one's sure. She's either a rich German heiress or she's flat broke. The charges are insane. Anna committed real white-collar felonies while posing as a socialite in an attempt to steal millions of dollars. But before we get started... Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and relax your body. Clear your mind. Open your soul. Forget everything you got going on at work, at home. Oh, that. And come by with us. Welcome to our room. y'all let's get into our first thought which was what was our favorite moment all right y'all my favorite moment was actually when ty's assistant alexis i think that's what his name or alex i don't remember his name. i don't remember but when he was on the phone with anna and anna was threatening him because she wanted to speak to ty <laughs> and she was like you know i'm in here with you know you know i got hit women in here they'll you know they'll do what i tell them to do you know just pay him a little, whatever. I have to see you get hurt. Yeah, so that was funny. Spodek and Associates. Todd, now. Uh, I'm afraid he's not in right now, Anna. You're lying, Alexi. Would you like to leave a message? You know, I've met a lot of colorful characters in here. Murderers, hit women. Yeah, I had no idea how cheap it was to have someone killed. And she was like, next time, don't lie. And uh, Alex or Alexis was like, yo, what the hell? So that was my favorite moment. I thought that was, you know, I like humor. My favorite moment was when the judge told him she was going to drink her iced coffee. Oh, and I was like, that's a big cup. I'm like, you got time. And it's like, as soon as I said that. Go. Yes, Your Honor. And don't let the jumbo size fool you. I drink fast. Go, 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 go. Right? Long throat. Oh. It's <laughs> nasty. Old ass. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, yo. Yo. Bruh. So, yeah, let's go to our next thought, which is, who is our biggest threat? All right, y'all, our next thought is, who is the biggest threat? And my biggest threat is actually towards Todd. You know, I'm going to incorporate Todd into this one. And Todd's got himself some, some showtime. To yeah, this but Todd's struggling because, yeah, like you say, he finally getting his showtime, and now he want to put his family to the side, you know what I'm saying? So... It's basically his work. But at the same token, I felt like I wish his wife was a little more understanding. But at the same time, she did come around because she went to the court date. Anna got her sentencing. And he could have went on a trip for a week. But he decided to stay. So I was like, I understand her little frustration there. Because I'm just like, okay, you got the verdict. Like, why are you staying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, mm, you know, but he put on. I was kind of upset at him, though. About what? Because of the intent. Like, he didn't listen to her. She wanted, he made her seem minuscule. You know what I'm saying? Was Anna ever remotely close to getting any of these loans from any of these banks? Never. He made her seem like, you know, she was like, I was dangerously close. And she was like, he didn't make it seem like she was dangerously close. He made it seem like she was just this young, dumb girl 
just trying to live a dream that she couldn't have. And he felt like that's what he had to do. But at the end, like, did you? Because you didn't really get much knocked off. Only but two charges. The it was some big. Ones. It was some big charges. But it's like, dang. Like, I feel like he, if he was the lawyer like he said he was. Or if he was as good as he said he was. He could have spun that without making oh, her look Oh, yeah. He could have definitely minuscule. spun it without having her look in the fool. Yeah. I agree with that. So, yeah. What's your biggest threat? My biggest threat was Rachel's testimony. Oh my gosh. You work very hard on befriending Miss Sorkin by benefiting from her connections, her extreme generosity, and after one thing that doesn't go your way, one mishap, you work very hard on cooperating with the police to have Anna arrested. Yeah, she thought she was doing something, huh? Yeah, and like... Anna said they love her, her demeanor, her story. She looked like this innocent girl. And the people in the uh, jury was crying. But I told you, the only way they can do is discredit all that. And he did. Girl, you got over 600K coming? You cannot possibly be that distraught. Bruh. Girl. Then you, got, then you got it fully reimbursed. Exactly. Like, they just dropped every... <laughs> Yeah, he made Rachel look crazy. He did, he did, he did good. I was loving that. And she was trying hard. She was crying and he was just like, crying all the way to the bank. <laughs> My girl, so that, that, I like that. That was a good moment. It definitely was. So, yep, that was my threat. That yeah. whole testimony just... It put everybody on notice that. Exactly. It made Anna flip because she was just looking at their reactions like... Dang, is, is they are they really buying this? You know, I thought I was the manipulative one. I thought I was the swindler. Yeah, she knew. Yeah. All right, y'all. Our next thought is who made the biggest mistake. And I actually touched on this earlier. I feel like the mistake was Todd going against the grain. Like I said, if he was a good enough lawyer, he could have spun it to where he didn't make Anna look like a dumb girl just reaching for a dream. Hmm. He didn't give her credit. For being so close to conning these big companies. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give her credit for that. So, um, I thought that was a mistake. Because she wanted to be famous. She became famous. But everything Vivian wrote and stuff. I feel like he kind of like stumped on it. How would you have flipped it? I don't know. I ain't no lawyer. <laughs> Still though. I don't know. Do you feel like. So, what I'm asking is, do you feel like him painting her out to be this doof? Bruh. Is going to be a better reaction or outcome than her flip? I mean, him flipping it? I don't know. I think it could have been. Because he could have said, okay. If he tells them they that close, by the law of the land, then... He All of them getting get getting got right. I know, but he could have been like, okay, you know, she was out trying to live the dream and stuff. But she was she wasn't dangerously close to living this dream. But yeah, I don't know how he could have spun it. But like I say, if he was good enough, Lori, he could have thought of something. I don't know. But I guess he thought that was the better defense. I mean, like you say, you got two of her biggest charges knocked off, but she's still up for how long? She got 12? 4 to 12. So. So what was your uh, biggest mistake? My biggest mistake was getting the lawyer fired up. Do you believe your lies? Are they for me or for you? Must be you. Because everyone else in your life who hasn't abandoned you yet it's way past believing them and could give a so long as your checks don't bounce. Getting the lawyer fired up. You know, he's been waiting to drop that load oh, on yeah, her. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been waiting to tell her about herself. I know, and he was really, like, he was really uh, backing her, but he was also backing her for his own good, too. Like he said, I, I want to win. Yeah, but he let her know. Mm -hmm. He let her know, like, no matter how manipulative you think you're doing, I know the real you, mm -hmm. and I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. Yeah, I want to win. Right. 
and yeah at the end she still had a lot of charges like he only got two knocked off so what, she had like eight because i think she had 10 total so yeah she still had eight charges but at the end of the day i'm pretty sure he gone his clientele done went up you know oh yeah you the one that got her off yeah you get her off any then in the eyes you got her off especially the big charges too yeah so, all right, y'all, this leads us to our final thoughts. I thought this was a good season finale. I thought it was a good season in general. I thought it was a good show. Um, to find out that it was kind of based on some true events was interesting, you know? Because, you know, in the beginning, they'll have, like, oh, this story is true, only but the parts that we is absolutely <laughs> made up. You know, something like that. Exactly what they used to do. Yeah, so I was just like... Okay, this is fake. But to see that it was kind of inspired on real events, it was kind of like, okay. That's Shonda for you, though. Yeah, you know, She's shout smart. out to her. Yeah, so I enjoyed it. I like the season finale. I feel like we got all aspects of Anna. I feel like even though she got her fame, it didn't go the way she wanted because she wanted them to know. And at the end, she said even though he didn't paint it out that way, she was like, they knew that she was dangerously close because they still charged her for those eight other charges so she was like they saw me for who i am so maybe at the end she did kind of get what she wanted they saw her they saw she was dangerously dangerously close because they still made her guilty on the other eight she was like they knew you know so um and vivian i feel like she restored her career and todd is putting his family at risk for what because i still don't know what he didn't go on a vacation for i'm clueless because she was done, you know, her and Viv had that connect them. And then moment. he was like, I'll be back, what, Tuesday? Yeah, I'm just like, what? So her and Viv had that connection at the end, which was, it was nice to see. Um, to see that she did catch a liking to Viv, just as Viv caught a liking to her, you know? But, yeah, I thought overall it was a good season finale and it was a good show. That's kind of where I was with it. It was a, gr it was a good little show. Anna was doing as much as she could. Mm -hmm. She started, like, using this to pay pay this and, mm -hmm. and doing whatever she could. So, she was definitely a hustler. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like she's in denial, though. Denial. I feel like that's not what she wanted at the end. She wanted to, to get that money because she was like, if I get that money, then there's nothing that could be done. Yeah. So yeah. And you guys were willing to give me the money. Mm -hmm. So that lets me know that all I had to do was pull off one more caper, basically. That's, I think that's how she looked at it. Yeah, that's how I was thinking. So like, if Rachel didn't set her up, would she have gotten everything? She might have finessed something, something that's crazy what I'm out saying. there in Hollywood. And Hollywood, Malibu, wherever she was at, she would have. She might could have finessed something. A little different. That's what I'm saying, you know. But you're right. She was a hustler. Her changing the outfits was hilarious. Um, and I think that's what Neff respected about her. She's a hustler. And inspired Neff, you know, to finally. Neff needed to get going. Yeah. Do what she needed to do. But, yeah, that's all I kind of took over your final thoughts. <laughs> that was it. It was a good one. You know what I'm saying? You know, Shonda never disappoints, though. Yeah, she really mm -hmm. doesn't. So. so, yeah, what y'all thought about this series? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, there was kind of talk around, like, um, who would you, who you think was, like, the better con person? Was it Anna from Event Anna, or was it Oh guy from Twinder, Tinder. Tinder Swindler? I don't know. I might go. The only reason. Oh, go ahead. I might have to go with. I was going to say Anna, but I might have to go with the tender swindler because he he achieved the objective. That's exactly what I was about to say. I was about to say the only reason why I would go for the tender swindler is because he ain't have to do for the 12. <laughs> How long did he do? A couple months. Even if that. And he back out doing his thing. So, yes, he did achieve the objective. Um, Anna's was more. Was it even more high scale? Maybe. And she, yeah, because she was about to get out, but I don't know. That's, that's a what tough I'm saying. One. But yeah, I agree. He definitely did what he was supposed to do and barely served any jail time and still probably out there 
people buying courses and stuff from him. So, yeah, I could see what you're saying on that one. But let us know down below in the comments who was the better con person. And, yeah, so we have more content coming your way. Even though this series is over, there's always another one out there. So, definitely come back and get this fire content.